What's better than rats and bats? Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB on the official Magic the Gathering Arena YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me here. Remember to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Today I'm playing a mono black deck that revolves around a lot of rats and a lot of bats. We have Nazumi Informant and Lord Skitter Sewer King holding down the rat population. I guess rising up the rat population. We have Deep Cavern Bats. Bat, and we have Aklazot's Deepest Betrayal, the Bat God, taking care of the bat population. They're the creepy, they're the crawly, and they rhyme. So I wanted to build a deck that just had a good number of both of them and continued to show the various aggro decks of the meta what's up by gaining life and putting out very powerful creatures. Shelter of the Apocalypse fits the bill, so is also in the deck. Preacher of the Schism is probably my favorite black three drop in recent memories, so we're going to run that card a lot. Very cool, not just in vampire decks, but in all kinds of decks. Liliana the Veil is great against control, while Virtue of Persistence, Cut Down, and March of Wretched Sorrow help hold back those pesky aggro decks long enough to play your four and five mana cards. And when you get to that point, you get to do cool things. I also like running a lot of Demolition Fields and Field of Ruins. It's one of my favorite things to do to blow up my opponent's non-basic lands. And because the deck has a lot of legendary creatures and seems to draw too many lands a few too often. Four Takanumas in the mana base do help us get back Aklazot, Shildred, Lord Skitter, and Liliana when we really need them. So I'm running way more Takanumas than I usually would. Uh, I mean, what can I say? Sometimes you go on ladder and the shuffler says, yo, you get to draw 20 some lands every single game. So I'm like, all right, I'm not cutting lands. I know what'll happen if I cut lands. I won't draw any, but I will play lands that do stuff. We're going to do stuff. Let's dive in. Let the rat and bat nonsense begin. Ah, yes, the hands we can't keep. Hmm, I guess I can't keep a march because we just end up down too many cards, even though it's a very good card. Hopefully we'll draw one later. Back up Takanuma. Like to draw some regular swamps now. Oh, Field of Ruins might be good against this deck. Every time I see three colors, I have hope. And the opponent comes in with some hand destruction. Taking my bat. Rude. That's a basic. Double soul search. Uh, okay. I mean, we're just sitting here trading one for one. Let's go after their black source. Basics test. Pass. It's a planeswalker. I could explain what I'm about to do, but I'd rather show. So, opponent gets a card. Win the quick way or the fun way. Hmm. We've got the Shieldred, but... I think we actually want multiple threats on board, especially while they can't remove anything. Put a little pressure on Teferi, even if they kill this. Restless Reef can become a creature. They tap the Sewer King. Why didn't they untap the Reef, though? Maybe they're new to this deck? Everybody would like one more mana, right? Maybe it doesn't matter. Alright. They tapped it. They didn't play a Wandering Emperor. Field of Ruin is good. Keep attacking their graveyard. If they had a Wandering Emperor, would they have played it? Unclear. We could just send the rat, and then the Teferi has to tick up, which didn't really do anything last turn. But I think they might also be planning a board wipe here. Let Teferi die. Okay, well, if they're going to do that, I think we just pass and use Field of Ruin on their Restless Reef and Basics test them again. They already have two. 
We're gonna draw. That's fine. Your timing is important because you don't want them to use the mana well. So if you use it in their draw step, that can often be an awkward time for them. They also might get unlucky and draw the last basic in the deck off that draw step. They'll have to use the mana at instant speed, which is often harder. And do they have another basic? They sure do. They came prepared. That's okay. I got five more of these in my... No, wait, I got more, six more of these in my deck. Okay, they do run Wandering Emperor. I'm not overconfident. You're just they go for the Skitter. It should be a pretty easy kill. Let's uh, also channel the Takanuma while we can before Skitter's gone. And we get a Preacher. Yay value. I am almost sad to see you go. Okay, third time's a charm. And they take Shieldred, so they're afraid of that. It's a demolition field. They have enough mana. They have a double white almost no matter what, but let's keep putting them to the test. Eventually, no more basics, right? Because they drew all rare lands before. Ah, they do whiff. All right, let's put this out there. Hopefully they don't have a land for Sunfall. Never. Didn't have it. Interesting. Lockdown. So this is... So the fact that they took one there... They wanted to mess up the Preacher attack. Okay. They didn't want me to have both. I appreciate that. Aklazots. Dude! Has anybody told you you're no fun? Uh huh. Something suspicious is going on. Wow, Liliana in a deck with no more lies. Okay. <laughs> Off you go. Let's try that again. Dude, Realm Breaker. Okay, I mean, that's not amazing, to be honest. But they can steal a lot of my Fields of Ruin. Actually, you know what? That's even fine. They, they didn't get rid of Aklazot, so I can't complain a ton. I'll discard the cutdown. <laughs> we all have do I go we face? Forget. I think I do. Eliana has more potential to hurt them. The minus hitting my informant, no big deal. Ooh, my own Liliana. Okay, well now it has the potential to hurt me if they plus. How to do it. We play this. Yeah, it doesn't really do much. All right, you. We're just gonna make him find a board wipe. My own Liliana actually isn't super effective at the moment. And we have this rat to sacrifice to their Liliana if they want to down ticket. So make them rip it. They want to make me discard. That's fine. I'm tired of your secrets. We go face. They die. They needed to minus just to keep it from being lethal with the shieldred and uh, then the draw. And they didn't do that. Is a time to ignore Liliana. It happens. And now, Esper player, you may get one more mill in on your upkeep, but then you will die. <laughs> Lonely Liliana. On the play with a two of a kind kind of hand. Our opponent, we got Vorinclex Avatar, Elspeth's Nightmare Sleeves, Wolf Pet, rank 389. Like a weird collage of stuff. I'm gonna guess Golgari mi green black mid range. That's my guess. This hand is okay against that. 
No matter what the hand is, a matchup like that will probably be a slog, but virtues can be really good. Oh, it's mono red. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I can't lie. I'm very disappointed. Well, our Field of Ruin approach doesn't do much. Charm Scoundrel, sure, sure, sure. They make a treasure. Interesting. Cut down off the top. All right, let's get Lord Skitter down. They might be able to cast a play with fire, but they probably can't kill Lord Skitter here. We can get that chick out of the graveyard. Truth be told, Lord Skitter, kind of a mascot for the deck against Mono Red. We would greatly prefer to have Graveyard Trespasser for a number of reasons, the life gain, the ward, but we came to play rats and bats. And if we draw Aklazots or Shieldred, Mono Red's in big trouble. Uh, okay. I go to combat. Our opponent's giving me vibes like they have Witch Stalker Frenzy. I guess I want them to use it. We need to get it out of the hand for when we draw Shieldred, and we have a backup Lord Skitter that we'd love to play this turn. Yep. What are they doing? Must be a play with fire. But they're waiting because they don't want me to play another one. Okay, wait, we shall. Smart move. Oh, Sokinzan. Okay. Two one ones acquired. Not the things I'm most afraid of. If they're making that play, I can't imagine what their hand is. A bizarre collage of burn spells, and they were chumping Lord Skitter, which is very bizarre to me. Like, I don't know what that means. Well, there's an Aklazots, most likely. But we'll reveal the Bat God in a moment. I'm just going to keep being aggressive. There's a chance they want that. That's fine, too. Here's the Bat God. You can't let that thing go. The life gain is going to make it so impossible for Mono Red to do anything. So how do they get rid of it? Brotherhood's End. What a bizarre mono red deck. All right. Well, we have a land. And if we get them down to a low enough count of cards, I think this does it too. I think if we play Liliana, make them discard, we can flip this again. We have the Sunken Citadel. Only if a player has one or fewer. Let's do it. Since this is the card they can't handle. This is my home, and I don't agree. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. Monstrous Rage in the bin. Retransform. Swift Spear. Charmed Scoundrel. Draw a card, probably. They need the help. Interesting split. They must have drawn a rage or a strike. Play with fire would make sense for this specific split. Yeah, they're, they're gonna move it around. All right, it is play with fire. No, I think you look better as a cold. I mean, sorry, I'm not interested in dying today. That was a good turn for them, but it won't hold up in the long term. Lord Skitter. Get the play with fire. Well, the rage out of the deck. You have to always think about Bloodthirsty Adversary when hitting their graveyard. 
We gain four. And kill the swift spear. We are at 24, they are at 13. Rats and bats, baby, rats and bats. They have no fear of mono red. We'll keep going for the instants and sorceries. We can leave creatures now for our virtues. All right, whatever card is in their hand, they might have to discard it here. Instead, which stalker friend? Well, guess what? We're back. Oh my goodness, another. Virtue? Nah, another bat god. Keep it coming. You know there isn't that much they can take. <laughs> oh man. I do love a good bat and rat combination. On the draw, I mean, it might be an L like last time, but it has more life gain than the last hand, so we'll try it. Sometimes that life gain can stabilize you, give you a chance. Ooh, they gain one. All right. I, the only deck that I know that runs this is the life gain deck. Amalia and such. I think we're in a good spot against that. Ambitious farmhand isn't one I'm used to. Where the card, but we haven't seen much of it in a while. Definitely makes my informant worse. But we play it anyway. They play a two mana one one to get a card. We play a two mana one one to take a card. Okay, definitely looking like life gain. We have an Amalia. Virtue. Really aggressive. I have now drawn three of those. Play this Field of Ruin. I'm waiting for the bigger creatures. I'm trying to ignore the little ones. The life gain can offset the damage they do. Okay, that is a good Field of Ruin target. That, that card's scary. Yeah, that has to die. I guess we can double virtue it next turn. I was thinking about pitching to march, but double virtue's fine. On end step, let's blow up that Mirex before they get a chance to use it against us. Yep, I know, it hurts. Another land I'd love to play here. I could, I could use March and Pitch and Virtue to kill the children, be down one, two, three cards, and then I could play Aklazot's next turn. I think I'm better off being patient though. It's not like these Virtues are really gone, we're just waiting to get the mana to play them. Okay, that's scary. Hopefully it doesn't get bit, bit any bigger so that we can kill it with another virtue. Excellent. Now we're drawing our lands. Ah, virtue, so strong in best of one. Aklazots, I've heard of this card. All right, we need another Field of Ruin. The first Aklazots that attacks is way better than the Aklazots that doesn't. Um, what are we discarding? I guess we can discard a cut down. I don't really want to, but we can. And then we can either trade bats or swing back. Overseer gains a life, draws a card. Good card. Now discarding a cut down looks a lot worse. No! That is the worst time to see this card. Oh my goodness. Outrageous Robbery. That is a bizarre card to have in this deck. Wow. Yeah, they're, they're going for it. 
We get another counter. We need to march the Amalia. No, they're not going for it. They're supposed to go for it. Look at that draw. All right, so this is still a three, which means March kills it. Get him. Back up Takanuma. There's the trade. One, two, three, one, two. I may as well add a fourth. Oh, wait, hold on. One, so this flips this. No, wait, it's coming back tapped. It's coming back tapped, okay. Which means they can pay to flip theirs first. It's frustrating. Okay, we do this. Actually, we can do four. That's what I was, yes, we can do four. They want to spend their turn on the robbery. That's great for me. It's a five mana draw three, which is not, you know, it's not terrible. It could be a lot better. And we could play the virtue, which I think is better. They could also just retransform Aklazots. Before I find a demolition field, they go for it. Whenever Aklazot's attacks. Cut down your Overseer. Could take out the Veteran, but they just cast it from the graveyard. Another Citadel. So, they have Robbery. Let's go for the Virtue, because they can't kill us. They're going to make us discard. We'll discard this Aklazots and then get it for free with the Virtue. Or we'll get their Shieldred. That sounds good, too. When you discard a land, they get a Bat. I'll just discard my Bat God. We'll probably just play another Virtue next turn, to be honest. Ow. Give me this. So I think they're going to rob me. That's their grand plan. Another one. Could play a Takanuma and then channel a Takanuma, but I think if we just hold, we'll have enough legendaries to really go off with these Takanumas. And show the power of running more of them. Uh-huh. So, did they draw a way to kill Shieldred? I don't have Go for the Throat in my deck. I might get a March. It's a lot of cut downs. And a lot of rats and a lot of bats. Gain one. Lord Skitter, no! My Aklazots! Oh wait, hold on. Darn it. Oh, if only I could have channeled this in response. Not my Aklazots. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You know the power of a good Aklazots. You don't want to take the Aklazots. You don't want to do that. You can't hit You can't hit your own graveyard anyway. I'm pretty sure you're going to hit Aklazots. But maybe they're afraid of the informant. Maybe they like they like their one card, huh? Come on. Come on, don't hit the Aklazots. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hmm. Best play is best play for a reason. Okay, I'll discard this. I hope you take some damage. Oh yeah, it's only if I can't discard that they take damage. All right, I will take this. In you have to do it in the right order, right? So Inspiring Overseer and Amalia. You do it backwards, so we get the Amalia first, then the Overseer. We gain. Okay, cut down. Pay your three life. Akanuma, now you get a bat. I know, I know, I know. Oh my god, the life. And I'll get the Informant. 
I want I want whatever that card is in your hand. You seem you seem to care a lot. Okay, that's too many rats. But here you go, here you go. Wandering Emperor, love that. Okay, transform you. Could play, should, oh, I couldn't do that first. Yeah, I had two cards in hand. Oh, they had one. Yeah, I could have done this first. Doesn't matter now though. There might be a world where I get to make them discard again. Card again. <laughs> Yes, of course, you and your rats get to have fun at my expense here. If I block with the Overseer, though, I get the Overseer back, which is an awesome value engine. And even though they have 46, it gets weird once they play their own virtue, which they are an untapped land away from. Blocks. They can transform the farm hand. Transform the farm hand. All right, Amalia. Oops, I think I did it backwards this time. That's fine. It's fine. It's gonna pop. They're gonna get really jealous of how much I'm playing their deck. I can go to the graveyard because we'll reanimate it. Give it to him. Deepest betrayal. Oh yeah, my own skitter. Let's go. It begins. <laughs> Exploration. Okay, Field of Ruin. Now if we can just kill their bat god. Another trigger. Another field. We definitely play that. And we play five mana, another bat god to trade with their bat god. This returns tapped. How to get value out of multiples. All right, two mana uses the field. We could get the skitter down. Kind of don't, I don't mind holding it. Yep, there's your transformation. Do I respond? I guess so. Or no, this is for an Amalia or Voice of the Blessed. I'm not worried about you. You can't get through a shieldred. And we're all the way up to 28 just like that. Yep, Virtue. It's gonna get weird. <laughs> it's gonna get weird. Yes, they attacked. All right, we can get Skitter back with our turn. Block and trade. So wait for it to come back tapped. Ooh, nice trigger. Nuke it. Now we can get it back, but then they get ours. Look. No, that's not how it works because ours are on the battlefield, right? That's right. I planned this. I know what I'm doing. Give me Zabat, and from my graveyard, the Skitter. Another one. That's nice. Uh, yeah, another one of those seems delightful. So we have to be really careful about what goes to the graveyard and when. Really careful. We attack with this 4-4. Four, four. If they gang up on it, what happens? Not a lot, really. I think we're just chilling. We 
don't want this in the graveyard. What what are they getting right now? A preacher or a rat? Okay, we're good. We're good. We definitely don't want to trade too much. Then we want things in the graveyard for our turn, so we might even cut down our own thing. Wow. Wow, we're crazy. Virtue. Enter. Attacking Aklazots. What a value engine. Yep. So now I can discard an Aklazots? No, I can't because of Skitter. Skitter will exile my Aklazots. Breacher gone. Okay. Graveyard is currently creatureless. What is this? At the beginning of your end step, if you gain life, draw a card. All right, we're killing that thing and we're taking it. That, it's at the beginning of the end step, so we can wait till post combat. Don't think they'll attack. These graveyards are getting emptied. Once again, we look at each other and say, what's the point of this? You definitely don't want anything to die before I get to use these virtues. That looks like a card draw engine. I will take it for myself. Triple reanimated. <laughs> Liliana? You don't really do anything here, do you? I mean, we could force combat with her. All right. Get rid of the skitter because that's been an engine for them. Get land. We're going to... Oh, I can't exile that skitter. It's mine. All right. That's an oops. Definitely an oops. One, two, three, four, five. So they can mass block, reanimate one thing. I guess we want to start forcing that. We have way more reanimation than they have. It's 38 to 55. We have work to do. Yeah, we want to force it. We don't want anything that trades straight up with the Cathar. Or that they can just block with the Cathar. 20 cards. 6-6 six, six on Amalia. Remember, if it gets to 20, things happen. Okay, they block with Seasoned. Oh, they're going for it. I didn't expect this. I really want that thing gone. Okay. Uh, can I gain life at instant speed? No. No, I cannot. Or strike any of these? No? Okay. The bat. More to reanimate. I think they're going to get the Amalia. Transforming creates a dies trigger. Is a dies trigger useful to me? No. Another land. Three straight lands right there if you're keeping track. 18 cards for me, 38 for them. They get one reanimation, I get four, and the graveyards are stocked now. They go for Amalia. The card on top is Farmhand. I don't know if that's what you want. Bin. And a land, and a card, and take two. How much can they pop off? Voice of the Blessed, okay. It's happening. Case of the Uneaten Feast awaiting them. I think they need to keep the creatures coming, though. They need a consistent creature source. They have the Virtue. But so do I.
Hey rats, want to attack me? Not the worst moment for them. Let's see, sequencing. Farmhand, farmhand, that rat. Doesn't matter, I don't think. Should have named white on one of these citadels. Let's have let's just have a look at the deck for fun. I mean, there isn't a surefire way to break through, which is wow. Like, how am I actually gonna win this? It's gonna get really weird. So they want to draw the case. To solve, gain five or more. I don't see them gaining any life next turn. They're gonna get back one Lord Skitter, I guess? Because I can't exile it. And then that does gain them a good amount of life, right? Because they have two of these. So maybe I do, they're gonna gain one, two, three, four that I can see. One for the rat and one for the ski. Two, two activations each. Well, if they play this, they'll gain enough. Creature cards in your graveyard. I guess we don't, I don't, we don't really care, right? Not really. Because we could make them shuffle. They kept the case for a reason. Maybe I should trust them. Trust that they know how magic works. Definitely you two. And then the question is, like, do we want to trade with anything on the ground? None of these have lifelink. Putting pressure on them, putting stuff in graveyard. They'll get one thing. I will get at least two. But I'm not really trading it for any value. I guess the Shieldred? If they take the Shieldred, how bad is that for me? They gain two, three, four. I mean, it feels really good to them, right? Yeah, I guess I can't do that. All right, just airborne. There's a cut down. A little too late. Maybe we can get rid of the veteran. Reducing the veteran triggers might be huge. Keep playing bats. They can keep attacking. Our right, Aklazots is tapped. Let's play a new one. Oh, it was theirs? Perfect. Oh, now I can get it back. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. <laughs> and no basics for me. Okay, that was not my finest hour. Takanuma. Okay. Okay, they do take Skitter. That's awesome. We'll grab the targeted Skitter. Fizzle their virtue. And now next turn, we'll take their Aklazats, which we'll put onto the battlefield. It does activate as a sorcery. That means we could respond to activation with Field of Ruin, then take their Aklazats. Okay. Okay. All by design, I mean. 100% planned. Whoa. Craziness. All right, one creature, two, three, four. Is there another informant? There is. Seems like an Aganjo, yeah? All right. Well, I mean, I don't know. I guess I get a card if I block with enough life linky stuff. You also get to see how high I can go with life. Just high on life here. Seems like an Aganjo, though. Seems like I'm going to get a bat. 12 cards. 
can I find a way to win? It's these little veterans. I'm thinking about cutting one down to take one. Magic is crazy. Oh God. Oh my God. My deck. They took all my cards. They stole my cards. Okay. Three left. Attacking. Nah. Attacking will bring it to two. <sighs> Alright, we gotta find a way. They're at 39? 39 is way too much. It's way too much. I don't have 39, right? There's no part of me that has 39. And those aren't in their hand, so these won't do any good. I have no chance. I can't do it. Okay, got to do this. I think the opponent has a cut down. No, they don't. All cut downs accounted for. They have a march, but they have nothing in hand, right? That's the thing. Okay. Don't care about their Aklazots. I'm definitely taking their Veteran. We want the card in their hand. I don't think it matters. I think we lose. I, th I don't... Oh my gosh. I don't, how can I beat that? All four virtues won't be enough. Gonna nuke your demolition field because it's my demolition field. You were wrong for taking it. Okay, another Shieldred and another field. We. We go to war. <laughs> Outrageous robbery in this deck. I made fun of it earlier. I still think it's weird. But my goodness, did they show us. Did they show us what's up? All right, well, with what's in our library, we don't have choices. We have 69 life, we've won a certain kind of victory. Interesting, they blocked Skitter. I just don't think there's a way. Especially with a march and no way to like fizzle it. Like I need a way to blow up my own creature. Now they're at 22 from 39. Two, one card in deck. Till the end. Till the end guys. Fidgeting with our Aklazots actually gives us life. Who, who owns this? I own both. Well, I know I own the one I just brought back. Yeah, each one it should be a life gain from the... No, it's not. It's not even doing anything. Because it's not entering the battlefield, it's transforming. Okay, they get the children.
We get a land. Yep, there's a march. Goes to my graveyard. Very good card. There's a get lost on top. They draw it for turn. I mean, the only thing I can hope for is that somehow something ends up in the graveyards that we can target with the virtues that goes into some kind of a combo. I'm not even sure what that would look like. We've been trying to keep them from doing their life gain triggers the whole game, so yay. Yep. Trigger, 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 draw. Well, we still have the most life. I'm gonna die from attacking. When it attacks a player with the most life or tied for the most life, create a 1 1. When it attacks while you have the most life, you draw. I will die as I have lived! Drawing cards! It is in my nature. That was indeed an outrageous robbery.